Nice. So um, this is StreamYard, your very friendly uh, live broadcast studio. So how do you get here? You simply can go to StreamYard.com, create account if you don't have an account yet, or just log in if you already have an account. Now, no matter how many of you are on the team, all you need to use the platform is one single email. One single email can generate various access codes for any time anybody wants to log in from your team. So you impute the email, the access code gets sent to the email inbox, and then you can share with anybody who wants to log in from your team. This doesn't include your guest speakers. Invited guest speakers don't have to worry about logging in. There is a link special for them to do that. And mind you that the code is valid for about two minutes. Once it's over two minutes, you need to generate a new code for any new login. So once you are here, once you are logged in, this is what you'll be able to see. If it's a, a new stream yard, of course, you won't be able to see any upcoming. So what, what you'll be seeing is create, for instance. But if it's an old existing account, you would see perhaps upcoming uh, broadcasts that are scheduled to happen in the future, like the ones uh, we have here. There is the one um, scheduled for 28 April by 5 p.m. Uh, Nigerian time, which is our usual week Africa our time. And then for past um, broadcasts, you can just click beside this upcoming and you see the past broadcasts and you can download audios for the whole broadcast in full in case you want to upload it elsewhere outside the platforms that were streamed on. You also want to make a, a podcast out, out of them. Just simply go to the one of interest like this one here, for instance, beside this view, this three dot, click on, on, on it, and you see download recordings, and you get to download the audio separately from the video and the entire broadcast. So, but once you uh, click create, for instance, this is what you would see. Remember when I was sharing the overview, I mentioned you can record in the studio can do on a webinar and you can do live stream. For the purpose of this uh, demonstration, I'm interested in live stream only. But whatever you are interested, just click on it and the rest is almost a work in the park. So I select a uh, live stream. Usually my go to um, streaming platforms or broadcast platforms are already uh, installed here. But uh, there was a question earlier about how do you add new platforms? Let's say YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter. So I'll just indulge us for the purpose of understanding. So let's say I want to add a new YouTube channel. I just select YouTube. And it loads. And then I, of course, select the account, the YouTube channel. I know it's going to take me on a merry-go-round. Another way. Just a minute. Just give me for key. So, but basically when you have, um, what's it called? Your YouTube channel, you will just see opportunity for you to enter the link to your YouTube channel. You know, when you want people to subscribe to your YouTube channel, you have to copy that link out specifically. And there is um, some sort of API 
that is specific to your YouTube channel, it will ask you for that, for example. And that would be automatically synchronized once you supply all those details. And also try for Facebook. I think Facebook might be easier since I have a profile already. You won't um, take me on the merry-go-round. So, this is Facebook, right? StreamYard is requesting to post content on your timeline, on your behalf, and have ongoing access to content it posts. Who can see the content StreamYard posts on my timeline? My Facebook friends, automatically. I can select continue. I have over a thousand friends. I don't chat with more than half of them, but it's fine. <laughs> so I can actually <clears throat> allow this now, of course, and continue. And that automatically synchronizes. And by the time you see the green peak, my Facebook is added here. You can see it among the list of uh, select destinations per se. So if I select this, it's a destination automatically. So I can add the title. I was given an instance of um, a session we have on 3rd of May. I can add it as uh, Wiki Africa hour number 25. And Open journalism, journalism award, sorry. So it's actually a launch for an award targeted at African journalists. Simple. So I've added these descriptions and all. So I'm not going live now. So I schedule for later. This is the form part. So I'm scheduling this for 3rd of May, of course, at, it automatically selects the time zone you're in, 5 p.m. Nigerian time, that's 5 p.m. GMT plus one. And you can even add um, a thumbnail to serve as, let's say, a background for your scheduled event. I can add my photo if I want as a thumbnail. Once I'm done, I create, I select create broadcast. And once this broadcast is created, you will start seeing it on the upcoming broadcasts. Simple. So, like I mentioned earlier, you don't have to give code to your guests or guest, special guests or guest speaker to join. Now I've created this broadcast. I have three dots besides where you have enter studio. Just select that and you will see opportunity to invite guests. I select invite guests and it shows me this link for guests. Speakers. Now on here, you have the opportunity of clicking this Gmail sign to send it to your guest if you operate a Gmail. Um, you maybe operate a web mail, you can use this other sign, the email sign. If you want to send it via Facebook Messenger, your, if you converse on that platform with your guest speaker, you can use that too. But for me, I like to copy it up because I add a whole lot of instruction about the script you work with on the email. So this is what you send to your guest speakers to use to join um, the event backstage. So once you've sent them this, you can go ahead and fit the studio to your taste. So you click enter studio. So for this purpose, for this particular demonstration, I will have to turn off my Zoom camera so that it doesn't obstruct with the streamer camera. So this is what the StreamYard um, looks like before you actually enter the studio, right? 
So here, oh, let me refresh it so you can show all the necessary features I want. Okay, it's fine nonetheless. So here you can be sure your mic is working the way you see this uh, bar, green bar dropping up and down, it shows that the mic works. <laughs> and of course, if you want to stop your camera before entering, you can do that and use an avatar. You can also edit the avatar if you want. I can edit it to have my own picture. By the way, in case I want to turn off my camera when I'm on the stream, because I don't want people to see my face. And then the other fun thing is you get to set your camera if you want. So I had turned on my camera. So let me turn it back on. So here I can select a virtual background if I want. This is my natural background, by the way, the one you're seeing now. I know it looks it looks too nice, like it's a virtual background, but it's a natural. <laughs> so I can blur the background if I want. For instance, I can change it to something cool, bricks. I can change it to a living room if I want. I can change it to the wiki in Africa uh, uh, default background. And I can also add a new background if I want, maybe select some photos those and whatnot. And then if I have a green screen, like most movie directors would, and I want to have a background like I'm in the lion's den or in a zoo with animals or in a river, I can just select that I have a green screen and go ahead and flip it and select my green screen settings properly. So this is how fun this stream yard is. You can be anything you want to be. And then here you get to enter your name. You get to enter your name here. I like to enter my full name and of course with the uh, pronouns, sorry, my first and last name with the pronouns. Because we work in a community where we have people who might be transgender and identify with other um, pronouns. So once I'm done with this, I click on enter studio. Yeah. So here you can do more of the tweaking if you like. If you like, how can you do this? On the right side part here, you can see comment, right? These comments will be coming from, you'll be seeing them down here where you have a, once you, you go live, of course, you'll be seeing them down here. It will be coming from the live feed on my Facebook since I selected to broadcast from my Facebook. And then there is banners. So what I like to do with banners is if I have guests, I, build their designation here in advance, right? Like here I have Darina. Darina was one of the guests I had last from um, Ukraine on the Week Africa Hour um, session. So I, I, I can edit this, right? Put her name and uh, her designation, say. And then from facts, under banners, you can also, if you want some news, Stuff to be rolling while you are streaming. You definitely can do that here and tick the option, scroll across bottom as a ticker. This is how this works. For those of us who watch um, news channels, you must have noticed, let's say Al Jazeera or BBC, there is something at the bottom of the screen scrolling, this is how cool streaming has made it look to, you know? And uh, even when people are on screen, like now, I'm not on screen yet, please. Your guest speakers, by the time they join, they will just be seen as portraits like myself here. So how do you add them to the stream so that the audience can hear them? You click add to stream. I've added myself to the stream. If you go to my 
uh, uh, Facebook channel, and I've, I've, after, after I've, I've gone live, you'll be able to hear me, you'll be able to comment, you'll be able to still see this button, the news item scrolling simultaneously, right? And uh, for the sake of my designation, I can make sure that I have my name showing too, so that it won't, um, yeah, let's say my name is Noni, but Noni is uh, teaching Asana in the other room. So my name can be showing here, simple. So StreamYard is extremely cool, right? And if at all you have um, up to five guest speakers plus your host, let's say, there's how you can toggle the screen, by the way. If you look just below the screen here, you can see a portrait solo layout showing one head per se. It can be that. But when you have more people and you want just two people to be showing, there's a way you select it. And if you select the, the one with cropped layout, two persons will be showing on the equal screen. If you select the third one, there, there will be a bit of, um, let me say, oh, I think we definitely can demonstrate this live. Give me a minute to see if I can share the link for somebody to join from the other side. The guest invite link. Yes. So anybody, please feel free to join. Uh, Nemeka, you can join. Douglas, you can join. Anthony, you can also join. Just click the link and put your name and turn on your camera and you'll be in the backstage per se, like myself, so that we can help demonstrate it better for our students, viewers. Yes, I see you, Anthony. I see you, Nemeka. So you can notice that even if you're talking, uh, Anthony, I think your mic is muted. But even if you're talking, nobody can hear you. I see you, Douglas. Unless I add you to the stream, if I click add to stream, add to stream, add to stream, four of us are looking awesome. Yes, yes, already. And um, some other uh, fun facts. You can also brand to your taste, by the way. I selected the color for the name display to be yellow. I can change that. I can make it to be full yellow, by the way. I can make it classic in terms of the layout theme. And uh, I can select a different background. You can upload a different background if you want. There's a whole lot you could do on Streamio. You can add a different background, yes. You can select this, you know, own it. And then as guest speakers, there is a private chat space here for us to gossip anything we don't want others to see. You can just chat. If you can see the private chat, type anything. If I say hello, only the four of us can see that and gossip about our audience as much as we want. <laughs> and, you know, this is my favorite space in case somebody's um, audio is not uh, coming out neat enough. You can just say, oh, Douglas, could you, you know, speak louder? We can't hear you. <laughs> yes, Anthony, perhaps. So, yeah, this is how cool um, the StreamYard platform is. And of course, like I mentioned, uh, it gives you the room to count down to the time. You know, click your go live and uh, have the countdown display if you have any for the 5 p.m. that's actually one of the, for the whatever time you want to go live. And um, you can also present your slides. There is an icon here like showing present. So in case I have slides, I can just go to where I have them. I can, of course, go to your computer. I can go to your computer. If you have them on Google Slides, go there. 
rather on my computer, I select my computer and it will project just fine. Still nothing happened. It projects just fine. If I had slides here now, you would be able to see those without castles. So yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of benefit when it comes to yeah. And then, like I said, if you have the external camera you want to add, you can just select external camera and connect it due to the fact that we stepped down our plan after the weekend Daba to the basic plan. I actually can't use that feature, but that's how to connect it. You have the camera closed, you, you select the particular name of the camera. And then you can also play a video file if you want. If I had a video file here, you can just select it. Simple. And I'll show it. You can see the video playing. This is our regular Wiki Africa Hour countdown before we get into the session. So it's it's a whole lot, it, 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 it's a world of um, possibility, if I must say. It's a world of possibilities. So yeah, that's how the StreamYard platform uh, works. And once you, of course, finish your session after clicking on go live, you, of course, you see end live session there, red button. Yeah. And then once you finish, everybody can leave studio. And that's how easy it is, by the way. It's very easy. Thank you for joining us, full guest. If there's anything like that <laughs> for the demonstration of yeah. papers. So I'll just come back to the Zoom in case anybody has questions. Also, stop sharing my screen. Oh yeah, so if anybody has questions, feel free to ask away, please. Yeah, I have a few questions, but I'll be quick. So the first one is, so if I'm having an event, so the people I'm inviting, would they need an app for this or is it just a web base? Exactly, you didn't need an app to log in, right? Yeah. Just use your browser, either from your phone, your desktop or your laptop or your tablet. Just use the link and that's all. Okay, so for connecting to the other platform like YouTube and Facebook, so automatically when I set it up and select, for example, for Facebook, it starts showing on my Facebook immediately that I'm on, yes. as if you're on Facebook yes. Live. Once you synchronize to your Facebook or your YouTube or your Twitter or your LinkedIn, it should show automatically as long as you schedule the broadcast and created the broadcast. Okay, can you, can you have more than one platform at a time? Yes. Okay. Yes, you can have more than one. Like we usually have um, three on our basic plan. Uh, we can have four okay. sometimes. And then the professional plan lets you have up to eight. All right. Thank you. Like we can you can have YouTube. Um, mm -hmm. We have our uh, Facebook, Twitter running concurrently once we go live. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you so much, Ceslos. Um, we have like a few seconds to wrap up. I'm going to stop the recording, uh, but uh, it's been a great demo, actually. I've liked it a lot, and uh, see you in the other main room. Pleasure. Yeah.